Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding second day confirmation using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in TikTok interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, new TikTok users sign up with their emails and each user receives a text confirmation to activate their account. Assume you are given the below tables about emails and texts. Write a query to display the IDs of the users who did not confirm on the first day of the sign up, but confirmed on the second day. Assumption action date is the date when the user activated their account and confirmed their sign up through the text. So there is first table is emails table, which has three different columns, email ID, user ID, sign up date. And then there is another table called text with four different columns, text ID, email ID, sign up action, which can either take confirmed or not confirmed and action date. Right. And this is an example. So from this, uh, there are two users, uh, right. Who signed off on different dates. And if we look at, you know, uh, email IDs, 125 and 433. And if we see, okay, 125, 433, uh, 125 belongs to a user 7771 signed up on 14th of June 2022 and 14th of June 2022 the person confirmed as well right so this should not be in the output because we need to make sure that the confirmation was on the second date right so from one day after the sign up date uh, and then for user ID 1052, uh, 1052 signed up on 9th of July, uh, 9th of July 2022, so not confirmed and then 10th of July confirmed, right? So basically uh, email ID 433, right? And it belongs to user ID 1052. So this is what we should have in the output, right? And that is what we have. So basically since the information is, you know, distributed in two different tables, the first thing we should do, do is we should join the text table with the email table using the email id column and once we have this then we have the information about the text right uh, confirm not confirmed and also we will be having the user ids and then what we can do is we can make sure that whenever your action date is equal to one day plus the sign up date because you are also going to get the sign up date column from emails table after joining so if we have one day after the sign up date and sign up action is equal to confirmed then you re return the user ids of those right so from this table called text alias st right let's left join the table called emails alias as e right on t dot email id is equal to e dot email id right so once you have this then what we need to do is we need to make sure that where right where this action date right action date is equal to an action date belongs to which uh, table text right so we should write t dot action date is equal to e dot sign up date sign up date plus one day right so we use interval and one day right so basically now this will look at okay uh, it joins the information and then make sure that okay action date is the next day right and then we also need to make sure that the sign up action is confirmed right uh, so and t dot sign up action is equal to confirmed right okay so once we have this let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so now we have two different email IDs and if you look at these belongs to two different users, right? So sign up date for them was uh, 9th of July, uh, 2022 and action date 10th of July confirmed and sign up date 25th of July, action date 26th of July confirmed, right? So basically this satisfy all our condition, but we need only one column in the output user ID, right? So what we do is instead of returning all the columns, user ID belongs to email stable right so e dot user id let me go ahead and run this let's see what happens okay so now we have the user ids satisfying our condition let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah uh, this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we did was we merged the information from the two tables and made sure that this action date is equal to sign up date plus one so the next day of the uh, sign up and also made sure that the sign up action that is the message that you receive in the email is confirmed and we return the user id 
So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better solution or more efficient solution you can think of. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.